Hey everyone, so today um, I'm going to show you how to paint a hood without getting tiger stripes in it. Um, a lot of you know what I'm talking about where it has the lines. We already prepped this hood prior to this video. We wet sanded it, found all the spots that are low and primed them and then wet sanded the primer many, many times. We do have this one exposed metal spot, but it'll be okay because this stuff has a primer in it. It's really good stuff. It's the high gloss ultimate. We're gonna go ahead and lay a light coat on. Um, you wanna do this in light coats. It might look like it stripes pretty bad when you light coat it, but after you put the next coat on, it gets better and better each time. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Make sure you're wearing you know, some protective gloves. Um, I do have my respirator. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now that was basically two very light coats. We're gonna let this sit and uh, I'm gonna show you the temperature of the inside of the shop. All right, so you can see it is inside at 65 degrees. Um, we have climate control here, so it helps a lot. 65 is about, to me, the perfect temperature to paint in. Um, depends on the paint, the conditions, that, that so on. There's so many factors, but 65 is a good temperature. Um, so we're gonna let it sit for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, and then we're gonna go over it again like that until we got a really glossy, smooth surface. All right, so I'm gonna lay these coats on just a little bit thicker, and once we start, we're not gonna be able to stop. That's how you get the best gloss finish. It looks good right now, but this is just two light coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on, and after we're done with this one, it'll basically be done. At this point, you can hit it with a 2K clear, Trevor doesn't care. His BMW is going to be getting repainted um, at the beginning of summer, so it'll be professionally done out of a gun. This is just to get him by. He sold his other hood, if you're wondering. Um, he liked this one better. So we're going to spray it, and I'll show you how to do that.
right, there it is. Now we're gonna let it sit and uh, fully dry. Um, it should be ready to be handled in about an hour or two, depending on the temperature. Um, this does have orange peel, which is normal. It's coming out of a spray can, even spray gun paint jobs have it. Some just have less than others. Uh, basically what we can do is we can wet sand this with 1500 to 2500 grit sandpaper and then we can buff it out with an actual buffer. Um, so once that's done it'll look like really good paint job. Let it dry, put it on. It does need buffed because it does have some orange peel and some bugs landed in it but for a $3.96 can of paint using two cans it did pretty good. So, uh, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, share if you haven't already. And uh, stay tuned for more because we have more coming.